So just to give you a bit of variety as well. So on the bottom video here, I'm just press play on that. So we also have a example of assembly evaluation. Um, so here we just took one of the props and we're looking at how that's going to be installed. So we went for a prop in a very really tight location through through this wall and installed in a, a bit of a tricky area. Um, and again, it's as simple as you just click and drag it and you move it and you press play and you, you check it for collisions and see what's going to happen there and see if it can be reached. So a really nice quick way of validating something that's difficult. And here we're showing a prop, um, but that could be an installation process for um, a, a tricky wall. Uh, it could be for the MEP risers, which are going to be really tight. Could be for some specialist equipment on site. Could be for the stairwells. Could be for anything. Um, so it's a really powerful tool for for de-risking and optimizing um, processes. So third and final. So I'm going to show you a ergonomic simulation now as well. So the first thing we have here is again. So We've defined all the 4D build-up. We've defined all the 4D plan. So for me to do this, all I need to do is go into that process as an ergonomics at work specialist and press the step in the process and it will automatically jump to where that 4D plan is at that step in the plan. So this specific step, this wall has just been installed. So as an ergonomist, I've, I've been told to check this as they think it's a risk area. Um, so you can see I'm very quickly manipulating a digital uh, crew member or operator uh, and just checking how they're going to balance, if they can actually reach that prop to install it. And this is going to be a really tricky, tricky prop here to install. And you can obviously see there's a big drop there into the core, um, which tells me straight away there's a risk of um, them falling or having just no access essentially to install this bit of the wall. So... There's a second one here as well, which I'll skip a little bit ahead of in the video, uh, where we're going to walk around to the opposite side of the, the same prop installation. And here we have a different scenario where it's maybe not a case of they're going to fall in the pit unless they roll over into the core. Um, it's more of actually an access problem. So just pressing on the, the um, uh, prop, you can see they can quickly uh, grab it and check the access and it's really tight uh, but if I pause it here you can see it's actually the, the pink and the green prop are causing some problems there um, and that's more of an access issue so as the ergonomist I can not only go to my my team and recommend some improvements for for safety so we need to put some sort of cap to make sure uh, they're not going to fall and uh, really hurt themselves installing these props um, but also is there actually a a planning improvement that could be made here. Could the walls which are being propped by the pink and the green be installed after the gray prop which we're trying to grab here, um, which straight away would give better access ergonomically and improve the process for that operator. So that's real data um, driving those optimization decisions um, even before it's on site, um, which is great. 